Hey Dumplies, it's Dave Decide. Today we need to talk about Joan Cook's emotional message about fame and Princess Diana, and then also some possible disappointing news around BTS's Free Busan concert. I think free or cheap anything is so important nowadays, and I also wanted to introduce today's sponsor. I wanted to put you guys on, and if you're anyone who eats out a lot or needs gas, there's an app called Upside, and it's really no additional cost for you, seriously. It uses your location and finds the local businesses in your area. There's a list that shows up and you see a bunch of nearby restaurants and you'll get cash back if you buy food using the app. And I mean this one here is 25%. That's ridiculous. But even if your area is less than 25%, 5% is still more than what you would get if you didn't use the app. Like credit cards offer 2% or less. Things like gas are also a big concern lately. You'll notice these cringely high prices and the app also offers cash back on that. And you don't have to take my word for it because your local businesses are using it. So if you don't trust it, you can just ask your local business about it. Now, now remember, you have to claim the offer on the app. You'll have the option to check in and then you'll pay as you normally would and you'll get your cash back. You can redeem the cash back with PayPal or Amazon gift card and there's other options too. The app is free to download and if you use the code DUMPLINGS, you'll be able to get $5 cash back if you spend $10 or more. So your first meal can be like five bucks. So I will link their website below. Make sure you check them out and thank them for sponsoring today's video. We need to talk about Princess Diana and Jungkook. If you aren't aware, there has been this rumor going around for years within the ARMY community. It has recently gotten to the point where it has reached far outside the community and it seems like journalists and stuff are picking up on it now. Of course, some armies are mad as they want it to just be within the community and only they know about the conspiracy, but you can't expect that all jokes remain in the fandom when it's super famous people that are involved. Mary Me Yoongi very quickly made it outside into the mainstream media and that is definitely a very specific ARMY joke. But anywho, if you don't know the joke or understand it, let me break it down real quick. And if you know it, bear with me. Princess Diana died a long time ago and she was very beloved. Of course, her death started to go back into the news after the recent news of Queen Elizabeth's passing. Maybe people think that Princess Diana was treated poorly by Elizabeth and just the royal family had treated her poorly. Unfortunately, Diana is no longer alive to confirm how she was treated. However, Diana died in what is conspiracized as a paparazzi hitting her with her car and she died on August 31st. The next day, September 1st, the same year, Jungkook was born. Princess Diana is known to have caused a freak accident in her house that set her house on fire with a microwave, and apparently it is well known within ARMY that Jungkook is scared of microwaves. There's a lot more theories than this, but just know that the correlations are obviously uncanny. People were then congratulating Jungkook after the death of the queen, and that's insane. I mean, literally right when the queen had died, Jungkook was trending and Diana as well. That's so crazy to me. Regardless of how bad you think the queen is, let's respect that she has died. I feel like this is making a very potentially sad thing like someone's death into something related to BTS and not everything is related to BTS. Things can just exist without any correlation to the group. Now that's just my opinion. However, people online were very mad at the comparison. Some say that Jungkook is his own person and these theories are delusional and all that. I don't think anyone seriously believes Jungkook is Princess Diana. I think it's just a silly rumor that has existed for ages. I think it's just the timing of it now can be seen as disrespectful to the queen. And this is just regardless of what she's done. I don't like Trump, but I was not wishing him dead when he got COVID. I don't think that's the right approach to a bad person. People think that Jungkook would be upset to come online and see the comparisons and that he would be upset, but I think how he is addressing it now, which is silently, shows that he possibly thinks it's funny. I think in the near future when he is doing a live stream and someone brings this topic up during a live stream, I think he will address it and talk about how funny he thinks it is. I will say this, if he is indeed reincarnated, he wouldn't know, as you often don't know who you are in your former life. In a prior interview and conversation about fame, Jungkook had talked about how fame had robbed him of his youth, and this is understandable, as I don't think most people are aware of how fast fame and the industry changes your mind. Now, this is unrelated to Hive, or specifically nothing Jungkook may have gone through. What I'm about to say is general and something a lot of children's stars have talked about. You see things so much more clearly and what everyone's intentions are. You see everything is a business, money, and that what's important is numbers. You see that the world doesn't run 
one off of morals. There's two types of morals in the world, but there's the normal one where we don't do something that is illegal and we feel bad. And then there's business morals where you might do something illegal because paying the fine or violation is cheaper than the money you would make from doing the illegal thing. I am not saying any particular company is participating in this. I'm just saying understanding that, seeing it may happen in other companies, you see how the whole world works. And as a kid in the industry, you are shown that repeatedly. Oh, so-and-so touched the kid, we'll pay them off because paying them is cheaper than dealing with the consequences of if it goes public. And this is the price you pay for fame for most people. Now, what I've explained can likely be what Jungkook has meant, all the dark things he has seen. However, people were comparing what he said to Princess Diana's death because she died so young and thus saying her youth was robbed of her due to her fame because she died to an alleged paparazzi. You can see the correlation there, but I believe Jungkook was talking about the industry as a whole. Jungkook has been very emotional about this idea of fame and success. He has allegedly gotten a lot of tattoos that represent growth and show that he has missed many of the normal childhood things that most people get to go through. But he is still okay and well, and he is still able to grow and be a normal human being. You can often see how people who are famous when they're older have a very immature mindset, and this is because they never got to experience those harsh experiences to grow as a human. But Jungkook is not like that. He even takes responsibility to say that he knows his words carry a lot of weight and then talks about how much of a burden this can be. To know that with one word he can hurt someone's life or anything like that and so oftentimes even with a rumor or a joke he might refuse to address it directly in fear it could hurt someone. But I think admitting this is very emotional and it got me in tears and armies as well. I can imagine if it was a video we'd see him tear up as well. Jungkook or BTS members might also be getting emotional and very mad over the free Busan concert. We all know there isn't a free meal that exists. Someone has to pay for it. And the idea was that the city of Busan would be paying for the free Busan concert in October. The city wanted BTS to host there as a way to get the World Expo to be hosted there. And so a lot of the reason why BTS was allowed to host the concert and have it be free was because Busan was asking them to. The mayor of the city recently came out to say that they will no longer be paying for the concert. And quite frankly, I imagine they looked at the bill and were like, no way. It was estimated that the concert at this size and venue would cost over 5 million US dollars, which is pretty standard for concerts of that size. And this is why the tickets can often be so much. So the label can make sure that the 5 million is covered and they're not losing money with every show. This got fans really mad because the city was then asking Hybe to get sponsors to cover the cost rather than the city covering it. And the city wants BTS there, but they're not willing to exempt BTS from the military, not willing to pay for anything. It's just so infuriating. It's one thing to say, we don't have $5 million to give. It's another to not even pay a million. The concern over this is that if they have sponsors or a limited budget, you can expect things to be watered down. So less of a light show or less of anything that is good. And what could happen here is that then BTS may not want to do the concert because it will look bad for them to host a concert that isn't up to standard. This in return is some sort of ban on BTS or a way to discourage BTS from performing or doing this. A sponsor may or may not be willing to pay that much for the event, even if it's spread out among several sponsors. The goal of a sponsor is to have ads or billboards appear in the stadium and then people might go after the show to buy whatever's on the billboard. For the sponsor to upfront possibly a million dollars to get a very small amount of exposure versus what they may normally get with a million dollars. 100,000 people to see their ad in the stadium is not worth a million dollars in my opinion. And if there's 20 sponsors in the stadium, then ads are kind of useless. People aren't going to look at all of them. So I am definitely a bit concerned that the concert may not happen anymore. I think BTS will try their best to make it happen. I think they will ultimately end up upfronting some of that cost themselves and or we could possibly need to pay a little bit. I mean, even if it was we pay 10 10 bucks, that's a million dollars right there, and that would cover a big portion. But this is all just a theory. I don't know anything more yet. But what do you think? Do you think Jungkook is Princess Diana? Do you think Jungkook got very emotional over the idea of fame and fame changing him? And how they could have been tearful nights over this? And lastly, how do you feel about the Busan concert and what the mayor did? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.